Hello, my name is John Cleveland representing Power Up Lubricants. What we're going to demonstrate for you today is a product called Fixo Grease made by Power Up. One of the products we're going to be demonstrating against is a lithium complex grease put out by a reputable manufacturer that costs somewhere between five and six dollars a tube. Now this grease has an okay Timken rating of a hundred pounds. I've explained in an earlier segment that this is a modified version of the OK Timken Low Test. And so uh, this actual machine that we're going to test this grease on was actually designed for testing greases. So we're going to take this um, case hardened Timken roller bearing. We've got a case hardened race. We're going to make a dry run here. And to set, explain how this machine is set up is these are one pound weights and for every weight that we put on here we've got a, a fulcrum advantage of 35 to 1. So for every one pound is like putting 35 pounds of pressure uh, on that bearing per square inch. But we're running on the size of a pinhead and the engineers back at the Marin Laboratory tell me that on a new contact error on that race and on that bearing uh, these weights can re actually represent over 7,000 pounds of pressure per square inch. So it doesn't take a lot of weight to get this bearing to seize up. Let me demonstrate. Okay, we've seized up at four weights dry. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this grease and we're going to cover the race. And I'm going to be very generous. We've got that race completely covered with grease. Once you get a close up on this race here, and I want you to notice that I've got grease all the way around the race and even in the center here. This is kind of how we test uh, pressure and drip point. Now we're going to turn our roller bearing to a new spot. We've already seized up the bearing. So we're going to turn it to a new spot. Before we do that, let's take a look at the spot that we had so we have something to compare to. Okay, I'm going to turn the machine back on. We're running on a clear spot on the bearing now. I'm going to take the four weights off and anything over four weights we're going to attribute to the grease. This grease actually took seven weights, which is pretty good. I'm going to turn the machine off. One thing I want you to pan up on is the bearing itself, and I want you to know, notice how much grease is actually protecting the bearing. There's very little grease actually on the bearing itself. And if you're looking for I'm seeing, the, two, uh, the grease is actually parted and allowed the metals to get into each other. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this right where it failed and I'm going to add some Fixo grease. And This is kind of a... I'm just going to put some Fixo grease on my finger I'm going to leave the seven weights on here and as this bearing is failing I'm just going to rub a little Fixo grease right in the middle of the race and I want you to listen to the difference. There's two reasons that I do it this way. One is to show you the compatibility of Fixo grease. Now basically, all we've done with the Thixo grease is we've added the Thixo grease into the center. I've left the red grease and I coated the red grease on the inside of that race so when we get this thing hot, we're going to demonstrate the drip point. We're running quiet and smooth. 
After we add the thick so grease, we're also going to add some more white. I'm actually going to double the load. We now have 14 weights. Now while this is heating up, I'm going to explain a little bit the difference between your aluminum complex and your lithium complex greases versus our grease. Your aluminum and lithium complex greases uh, basically are about 85 to 90 percent soap and then the soap is just a carrier for the additive package. Once these greases get hot, the additives can separate from the grease or the soap that is carrying the additives. The drip point on a lot of greases is somewhere around 350 to 400 degrees. So once they get heated up like that, they can, the grease will leach out and the, you'll get separation of the additives. Power up fixo grease comes from the word, derived from the word fixotropic. Thixotropic means the ability to go from a liquid to a solid back and forth without losing consistency. It's also carried by a calcium sulfonate. It's actually an overbased calcium sulfonate that can go from extreme heat to extreme cold without losing the consistency that it is right out of the tube. The drip point on power up Thixo grease is 570 degrees. And so we have seen our grease actually last three times longer in the bearing as some of your other greases. So it takes about one tube of Thixo grease to last the distance of three tubes of the other grease. Another thing that Thixo grease will do will it take heat. You've already seen the red grease here is spun off. The Thixo grease is still protecting. We're running in excess of 400 degrees. We're about 432 degrees right now. Another thing Thixo grease can handle is extreme contamination. But before I contaminate it with water, I just want to shut this machine off real quick. You can see how hot that bearing is. I'm going to lift this up. And I'm just going to set this thing up here. And I want you to sh the camera to pan in on that. And I want you to see the surface of that bearing. It's completely covered in Thixo grease. Now, one of the proprietary ingredients of Thixo grease is our boundary lubricant. We also have retention agents. Power Up has a magnetic charge to metal surfaces. So when you get to extreme heat or high RPMs, the Thixo grease is right there covering the bearing. It's right there at the point of contact. As a bird's eye view, I'm looking right on top of the race and all the grease is exactly in the center of the race at the point of contact. And that's the way we were able to keep those moving metals apart. We have good advanced fluid technology. We have good quality uh, extreme pressure agents and we have our propriety boundary lubricants that work under severe loads without getting that metal to metal contact and, and that excessive wear. Now, I'm going to put this back on here, and we're going to demonstrate one other quality of Thixo grease, and that's its resistance to water wash. We're still running at 14 weights, which is double the amount of pressure that we had with the lithium complex grease. We're going to add a cup here and we're going to contaminate with some water. Now resistance to water wash is very important in the marine industry and it's also very important in uh, wheel bearings, boat trailers and things like that and rainy uh, situations or situations where you're running through water uh, when that grease comes in contact with water you don't want that grease to separate you don't want it to run out of the bearing. So let's add a little water and see what happens. Virtually no change at all. Power Up Thixo Grease has excellent rust and corrosion inhibitors, excellent resistance to water wash, high temperature capability, high dropping point at 570 degrees, and a load carrying capacity of 200,000 pounds of pressure per square inch. Power Up Thixo Grease is one of the best greases on the planet. Ford Chrysler, General Motors, Boeing, and Bell Helicopter 
Owens Corning, all Fortune 500 companies rely on power up Thixo grease to protect their bearings and their manufacturing facilities. The four wheel drive shift on the flies, are, uh, the actuators are packed with power up Thixo grease, and the Boeing and Bell helicopters and the rotor head assembly are also equipped with their bearings packed with power up Thixo grease because it is the best protection that modern technology can provide. Thank you very much.